Okay. Okay. Hey everybody, so uh, Brooke decided that she wanted to add some more birds to this farm. Not that we already don't have enough, but she went ahead and bought, I think, close to a dozen ducklings. We've never had ducks before, we've had geese, um, so we're going to try this and see how this works out. Um, so we're going to go get the brooder ready and put some feed and water in there. And we're going to go um, put the ducklings in there. And we'll bring you guys along and show you um, how we are going to set the ducks up. And uh, so we're going to get started with that. So what are you doing here? This has a white light in it. And okay. I don't think it's going to be hot in No, that, that shouldn't. I don't think it will be either. Okay. Put the red bulbs in there, and those are the actual heat lamps. Mess all over it. And we have our our brooder here. There you go. Is that one? It's supposed to be ninety degrees. Well, it will be here in a minute. Just wait and let it warm up. Now let's go get some feed and the water. Okay, so Brooke is going to get her feed here. We're just going to use regular chick starter. It's non-medicated. Non-medicated. What's it say on it? Regular. 18%. Yeah. Okay, so she's just gonna put this feed in the feeder. Hopefully it'll spill. We're just gonna feed this to them for about three weeks and then we're gonna start them on grower pellets. Almost there. Alright. That's good. Make sure we get the beaks down in there. Boys, we don't have nothing for you. No. Not right now, we don't. <laughs> oh, and there's old Shooter. Big. Oh, yeah. Alright, we're going to switch waters out. Some of our uh, smaller chicks over here in the chicken tractor have a smaller waterer. So, Brooke's going to give them that big waterer. And we're going to take the one that's out of their pen. Plug it in down here. Yep. Typically, you just pull it out of that bottom piece. Yeah. It's just kind of hard to do. Well, it's being stubborn. Are y'all all just going to stare at her while she walks around in here? Is that what y'all do all day? Okay, so she's going to take that water and put it in for the ducklings. Oh, her head's in the way. <laughs> it's in the Try way. Trying to find a black place. What is going on with this thing? Oh, it's got the, the feet on the bottom. Oh! oh sorry, I couldn't I was see wondering. that. I was wondering. It's like, why is this thing so 
It's still. It's still got the feet. Ugh. There we go. Maybe. I think there's still one up on it. Yeah, I see it. It's just gonna be locked in place. Okay. Just trying to put them over here towards the back more. Got plenty of room. There we go. Mm-hmm. I think we're ready for the chicks, aren't we? Or the, the ducklings. Yep. Okay. So, what kind of duck is are these? They're blue Swedish ducks. So, they're actually just Swedish ducks, but they have a blue color. Um, if you breed these, you could have also black Swedish ducks and speckled Swedish ducks. Is this a combination of all? No, this is that? just blue. Okay. But this is a female. We're just going to dip her beak in this water. You're right. She's like, no. Nope. We dip the beaks in the water. Don't break your heads right away. Okay, I got it. We dip their beaks in the water so that they can know where the water is. Good. Okay, we're going to do it to all of them now. Okay. I'll get back here. I'm in the way. Yeah, you're always in the way. Wow. Good. Oh, he's, I think he's trying to find it now. Oh, okay. these things are crazy. Oh, he found the food. <laughs> Let me see. Good. Did you find the water? Yeah. Crazy little things. <laughs> they are very squirmy. You're right. <laughs> yeah. This is a Drake because he has a little red tag on him. Okay. So I need to clip this off of him before he gets too big. So, what I'm do. It's like a little zip tie, pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, a little rubber band. Yeah. Just tells you which one's your male. Yep. Um, how many males do you have, or drakes? I have two drakes and ten females. Okay. One drake's about to <laughs> fell. Um, One drake is supposed to have about four to five females. So that's why I got two of them. You gonna put them in two different pins, or they? No, they're just gonna run with them. In a few weeks, we'll put them in a. They, they probably different... they pretty much really won't have much of a pin. They'll just kind of go around. Well, they? for the first few weeks, we're gonna put them in a pin. Yeah, just let yeah. them know this is their home. Yeah, and then we're gonna let them free range after that. But it'll still be me a few weeks. go. Well, you like your ducks? Pretty cute. We won't put them in water yet because they can't, they don't have waterproof feathers yet. Okay. I guess we're just going to let them get used to this. Alright. Let's put the top over it. And we just set this wire mesh over the top and it keeps cats and anything that Thanks these things to be a nice snack. Keeps them out. Brittany and I just got home and we are ready to see the little baby ducklings. Brooke got them in this morning. Uh, we had a doctor's appointment to go to in town, but uh, Brooke, show me, show me your babies. Let's go. Oh, they're so cute. Adorable. Okay, so. You, you were explaining something about their colors, so do they end up being different colors? No, these or are just, these are all blue. They're all blue? Yeah. They all turn out blue. Okay. So the blue ones contain, are, are they, is it like a black jean and a white jean? Like how does, how does it make the blue? You said you were reading about it. You don't know? I'm not or, sure about how it makes it. it just, Rose more black than blue. 
But even if they, so if they hatch their own, they're not likely to have more blue? No, they're likely to have more black. Black. Or spotted. Splash. Is that what they call it? Oh, hey, babies. Can you tame them down? Mm -hmm. Well, ducklings These are really down. docile. Hey, babies. It's okay. They're supposed Aww. to be a docile breed. Oh, yeah. Baby. Oh, they feel so good. No, you get back here. So hard to hold. Hi, Hi baby. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my gosh. It looks like they found their water. You dip mm -hmm. them all? Mm-hmm. Hey, that's feisty. Were they thirsty and hungry this morning? When you they were. Them? They were picking my fingers. Yeah. This guy's fighting me. I'm so glad they all got here safely. Did you? Did they send any extras, or you get exactly the amount that you ordered? No, I just got twelve. Sometimes I know with chicks. Sometimes they send like extras in an order. I didn't know if they do that. And they're supposed the, to be really hardy. Good. That's one of the reasons I got this breed. Look at these little guys. They're pretty hardy. So what what were the other reasons you got this breed? They are good egg layers and they have good meat production. And they're yeah, right, like we're ever gonna use the meat. <laughs> we would never allow that. No. Alright, look at this one's little beak. It's like kind of deformed. Brooke pointed this out. She noticed this. I didn't notice it at first, but I don't know if anybody has an experience with ducks. I've Never seen anything like that, but I haven't really had ducks. <laughs> right, hopefully, hopefully this won't affect her. I think somebody threw a rock at the shed. It was awesome. I think an Henri brother out there. <laughs> Baby, here you go. Well, we'll just have to keep an eye on her. <laughs> Looks like she drinks and everything. Yeah. Though. As long as she's eating and drinking, hopefully it won't affect her. Yeah. Okay guys, it's been about two weeks now since we introduced the ducklings and I just wanted to give you an update on this little one here that has this little beak that's deformed. Um, she's still alive and she still physically seems to be doing pretty good. She's eating, she's drinking, she is a little bit smaller than the others which is somewhat concerning. But her beak, what started out as being slightly deformed looking, is it looks a little worse to me. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like her little nostrils are growing closed. And so she's having to breathe out of her mouth. Um, I'm afraid she's gonna start aspirating a little bit because she's, you know, when she drinks, um, if she's trying to take a breath at the same time. I'm just, I'm still a little bit concerned about this one. So anyway, just wanted to give you that little update and we'll continue to monitor her and um, let you guys know how she does but thanks for watching go ahead and like and subscribe if you haven't that really helps us out and we'll catch you guys on the next video